Salams and welcome to Playthings of Alien Forces, News Click's flagship sports show. Why, <laughs> flagship and only actually. <laughs> I'm Siddhan Dani and with me in the studio as always is Leslie Xavier. Uh, we have three stories that we're talking about today. First up of course is cricket, an update from the T20, yeah. ICC T20 World, World Cup, Cup, where India unfortunately out. Uh, we're also linking that to our interview with Lalit Modi, uh, okay. which... Um, new member of our team, Kaiser Muhammad Ali, has done and how, well, what Lalit Modi, the founder of the IPL, the first chairman, has to say about uh, the auction and things going forward for that tournament and the future of T20 cricket, I guess. Yeah, yeah in general, how club T20 cricket is shaping up and how it will play out, play out compared to national teams playing, right. compared to tournaments like the World Cup. Right. So, yeah. Okay. We'll be, and we'll be covering uh, the opening round of matches at the AFC uh, Women's Club Championships and of course a new boxing head coach for India's national women's boxing team. Uh, so, Leslie, first up, T20, ICC, India out. Um, we have the semi-finalists lined up. Lined up. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Pakistan topped Group 2 and uh, New Zealand second, so Pakistan will play the number two side from Group One, which is Australia, and mm. uh, uh, England plays New Zealand. So, mm. more or less the best teams in the tournament. Mm. Uh, Pakistan has been, I mean, and the only unbeaten side in the tournament, and in in impeccable form that mm. way. Both uh, individual players mm. coming out and performing in their best, mm. and also as a team. So they have ironed out most mistakes that we associate with Pakistan cricket team. Mm. Uh, seems to be a very fit unit, mm. even seniors. Mm. And uh, whatever plays in between the years, it's it's more or less uh, well oiled. It seems right. and uh, pretty disciplined as well. So. Uh, it would be an interesting matchup uh, Austra against Australia. They are also playing decently, but again, uh, if you look at the form displayed in the tournament, I would give Pakistan the advantage there. And England and New Zealand, anything can happen. Both teams are really good. England being the top side from the other group, but but New Zealand, I would say narrowly lost mm. against Pakistan. But mm. the way they have played, mm. especially against India, India the, the yeah. clinical. I mean, other teams we can't take uh, it as a yardstick as such because the teams are much much lesser quality wise. But mm. against India, the way they play, it, mm. clinical, and if they bring that kind of a game against England, so it, mm. we could see India's group two teams playing in the final. Mm. Uh, that probably absolves a little of little bit for India for losing to these two teams because they they seem to be in great form. Having said that, India's Loss, uh, they, they, it clearly is an underachievement. It, they clearly, the players as a team, they, they didn't click, they didn't uh, play to plan. Uh, I don't know whether, again, we have discussed this fatigue and all these factors, but I also firmly believe that the team, the mindset, the, the drive that is required for such tournaments, uh, short tournaments, world level tournaments, was missing probably because I mean it's 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 a serious thing as well the psychological aspect of being in the cro at the crossroads because wrong things that the management did mm. running into the tournament mm. firstly announcing that this could be this would be Virat Kohli's yeah, last uh, not a great news to send out to players as well as fans and in general but in, in, it, it affects the team dynamics. Mm. And secondly, you announce the coach midway mm. to another. Mm. It's like we always talk about football teams and how it's 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 bad mid-season if you if you mm. get sacked uh, at World Cups or European Championships. If if a football coach gets sacked mid mid mid, mid tournament, that's it. The mm. team is gone. No matter how good a, good a team is, it's 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 done with. So the same thing here. I don't know what logic these uh, people who take these calls go by but wrong timing and that there is a possibility that that that's what created a bit of a disruption in the in the i would say team psyche mm. and that was evident in how the players were not sharp enough mm. against teams of equal stature mm. and then when their backs were against the wall you play amazingly well against sides like scotland or uh, afghanistan i mean 
it's that's that's not necessarily a yardstick like i said earlier yeah, yeah. about new zealand you one. expect that to happen i mean yeah. Uh, yeah especially at a world cup at a world cup yeah. so uh, unfortunate but again lessons should be learned lessons in the sense not just about team team members or players or which players to retain which players to get get, mm. get rid of but mm. also how to run a team yeah, yeah i don't know it's it's the best the richest uh, board in the world and the best players arguably the best players in the world definitely the richest players in the world as well professionals to the core but you you are, i mean an outsider should point out this that you are not running the team properly and it's mm -hmm. these are these are basic things mm -hmm. so 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 since you did bring up all that stuff a lot of the pressure i think that comes on to india's t20 cricketers particularly is because of the ipl right because in even though england might have had a tournament earlier the ipl very quickly became the biggest thing in t20 cricket and because of it a lot of indian players we have a lot of depth uh, in that sense in this format uh, and that will lead us into uh, i suppose the next part of our conversation which is uh, this interview with uh, lalit modi who yeah. is the founder and and at one point the uh, head of the governing council of of the ipl uh, back what it now it's been more than 11 another no, life <laughs> yeah yeah it seems like it na the dinius the dinius but but i fear i i do suspect that uh, before uh, we get into that just like a quick thing that i'm sure one solution to this mismanagement that you are speaking of will be addressed at the highest level of the sport and we'll see a tweaking of the format of the t20 world cup <laughs> when it's played the next time <laughs> or kuch hona ho yeah सो एनीवे तो ललित मोदी के बारे में थोड़ा बात करते हैं लेटली एक तो ही इज आल्सो क्वेश्चनिंग द बीसीसीआई इन टर्म्स ऑफ सम ऑफ हिज डिसीजंस रिलेटिंग टू द आईपीएल एंड द रिसेंटली हेल्ड ऑक्शन या वेयर द आरपीएसजी ग्रुप टुक आई थिंक अ टोटल ऑफ 12700 प्लस क्रोर दैट्स द टोटल या आरपीएसजी ग्रुप टेकिंग द लखनऊ फ्रेंचाइज एंड सीबीएस कैपिटल उटरी part that he has spoken about also a little bit of a subjective part as well so yeah. we'll we'll discuss the subjectivity as such because in the interview we are letting modi speak so mm -hmm. so uh, he has said i mean he has said and evidently so the cvc capital the entity of course it it has investments investment arms which is involved in a lot of uh, businesses mm. so they one of the businesses is 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 in uh, betting firms with betting firms so they have subsidiaries which are which are betting firms so mm. betting being a touchy subject in india and as far as legal framework is concerned there is not not exactly a set clarity. of clarity whether it's legal not legal mm. if for instance if you just google is betting legal in india you will have three different answers mm. so uh, it's a state subject and yeah. so states have a right to decide whether betting can be allowed gambling can be allowed mm. or not allowed it's mm. there in horse racing mm. but it's not there in any other sport mm. and of late as we all know uh, online betting is possible from india because all these entities are based outside abroad their servers are outside so they are not Uh, operating from india technically and so mm. that is possible so it's a it's a open world that way and we also know that the bcci i mean technically again there was a court order saying that it's not they are not gambling firms betting firms as such but dream 11 for instance they were mm. ipl title title sponsors last year last yeah. time around fantasy sport e fantasy e sport fantasy, fantasy sport finally yeah. it's uh, of course it's linked with what the action action that happens so it is in a way gambling mm. but not necessarily gambling because the person's uh, ability judge judgment everything is involved so it's apparently a mind i mean <laughs> a game where the it's mind sport. it's yeah. a sport it's along concept. the similar i think logic that betting uh, or gambling on horses yeah 
was allowed uh, in India. In India, uh, that yeah. was the same kind of same uh, kind. approach. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so uh, when we consider all these factors and Lalit Modi's statement that BCCI should review the the bid of CBC Capital because they have money coming from these sources, and since uh, betting is, I mean. Ambiguous betting rule, rules are ambiguous in the country. I wouldn't say illegal because that yeah, would, uh, yeah, would be wrong. Yeah. So, uh, and then BCCI knee jerk reaction probably, uh, or around the same time, this Modi's tweet came last la, end of last month, just after the, this thing and after the bid. So, uh, BCCI coming out and saying that they are going to investigate this this uh, situation. It's it it is actually uh, insulting our collective intelligence as such, no? Because that kind of a scrutiny should have happened when the bid papers were submitted, and and so the decision whether their sources or their subsidiaries have some links which we don't like, mm. as um, BCCI doesn't like, that should mm. have taken at that point. Mm. But they did not. So, mm. and. These are serious money that are involved. This is a serious business, so they should uh, I mean, be very clear what the rules are, what the framework is, yeah. what the, where the boundaries are. And as far as betting companies are concerned, uh, it's part of the business ecosystem. We are talking about huge sport business, right? Mm. So if if investment is coming, like you said, it's mm. coming into Indian football, church sponsors, it's mm. there abroad. Mm. Betting is not match fixing. So yeah. let's, I mean, you have your anti-corruption mechanism in place you keep check of every, uh, check it, everything and you run the show yeah. i mean it, yeah. it's after all business yeah and a lot of sport is in some ways funded by this kind of i mean the national lottery for example in uh, in the uk yeah. uh, that a lot of that money goes into sport in india we see local level i mean clubs uh, going around and uh, doing uh, localized uh, lotteries yeah. to raise money for their small expenses for, for the season and stuff like that. So it, it definitely warrants a larger conversation than just, but maybe perhaps uh, because it's come into focus because of the IPL. Yep. It's not the first time. A lot has been done on this uh, yeah. with uh, Mukul Mudgal and the Loda committee also. All of that has covered great aspects of betting and uh, also fixing how it's happening in India. And, so, so, so a lot for uh, the BCCI. <laughs> when you mentioned the committees, it. I was just thinking it's it's it all really, forgotten. It really know. has been that yeah, long. Yeah. So the AFC Women's Club World uh, Club, not World, sorry, Asian uh, Women's Club Championship was held for the first time. Is being held for the first time. Is on for the first time. Sorry about my tenses. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's on uh, and uh, the Jordanian Football Association is hosting it. It's a pilot tournament. Uh, unfortunately, reduced to only four teams uh, from the western part of Asia, which includes India. <coughs> An Indian team participating, of course, because it's a first tournament, first time, yeah. all of that. Gokulam Kerala are there. They are uh, b by virtue of being the IWL champions from 2019-20. Right? So, almost three years of no uh, club level football for them in India. They've got, a, But they have strengthened their team with several members of the current national team as well as signed a clutch of uh, foreign players, five, mm -hmm. I think, five foreign players. Again, I think this is the first time that there were a couple of uh, Nepal players who were playing in India in the women's two, team two, three years ago as well. Uh, but first time, so many have come in. Mm -hmm. So interesting developments on that Gokulam project. I don't know the wider implications of of this championship because so the E Zone said keep COVID hai. We we can't. Uh, mm -hmm. None of us have any interest in putting out teams for the tournament. So it's just between uh, the four countries from the west, and India. Gokulam, sorry, lost their first game by yeah. uh, one goal, two one. That ended against Aman uh, Sports Club. Yeah. So, well, so what do you make of the match? Because I missed that match. To be honest, mm. I'm sitting here, and of course, I. Uh, to be more honest, I'm, you are the football expert here. So, mm -hmm. uh, what did you make, make, make of the team playing? Because, see, you mentioned that the national team players are playing in that. Yeah. And these national team players are supposed to play the Asian Championship next, next year. year. And they have not had any match practice that way. Yeah. They are in camps. And yeah. So, so now they are getting match see, practice, which yeah, is see, a good thing. Which is a good thing. Yeah, they have finally been able to get together, have a camp, leave the country. Mm -hmm. uh, they played a few games against very strong club sides as well as some national teams, the UAE and, and such. So there are very few countries willing to really host Indian teams 
but because some of these are longer term exposure trips, yes. it's at least happening. Uh, there's news coming out actually re just today that uh, India will be participating in a four nation uh, women's tournament involving Brazil, uh, if I'm not wrong, Colombia, Chile and us. So four mm -hmm. countries. So that should be uh, a big, big test for them and a chance to play against some of the Real top uh, sides. Top sides, uh, yeah. higher, higher ranked sides. Yeah, but in terms of what happened on the pitch, it was actually quite a good game to watch. Um, the first goal, uh, Gokulam got the lead mm -hmm. thanks to a very nice chipped lob uh, over the keeper from the edge of the box by that Ghanaian striker, mm -hmm. who is, I mean, so quick. Like, on the defender, she had maybe... 10 yards, yeah, that quick, uh, you know, just from starting at the yeah. same point, yeah. So, uh, Aditi Chauhan, the India number one, the goalkeeper, uh, well, I'm not sure what India number one is, but, but the Gokulam number yeah. one, uh, she played a long ball, so she mm. got the assist, assist for a goalkeeper, yeah. that's, that's another fun one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, and she just ran onto the ball, took a first time finish, the keeper was off her line, yeah. uh, good goal. Uh, Aman have some good players, mm -hmm. so you know it was challenging. I think obviously for for our uh, for Gokulam, yeah, yeah. So so I mean the another impact of the pandemic very clearly yeah, that uh, all of this is happening on a pretty ad hoc basis. Players have come together over a very short time, and coach P V Priya, even though she has had a lot of time at Gokulam, unfortunately she's not had any players or any real yeah. system to work with. Mm -hmm. So her focus is probably more on the grassroots and what's happening in the catchment area, Kerala. Yeah. And Kerala also hosting the women's uh, national championships uh, soon. Mm -hmm. So I think things are picking up there on that front, but uh, not much bigger picture. But we'll follow that tournament as it goes mm -hmm. on. There are two more match days to come. You can watch the games live on the Jordan FA's YouTube channel, live and free. So, check it out and join in the conversation around women's football because it's only growing and very fast. Yeah. And I, uh, to, just to add to that, uh, Gokulam Kerala, they are one of the few clubs who, have, who are very keen on uh, investing into uh, women's football yeah. from, the, from the team and from the club and all that. And yeah. we have had uh, interactions with Priya in the past, especially after they win the championship and also last year when we were trying to figure out what they were mm -hmm. up to mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. And, uh, and last year was also interesting because they were champions of the I-League as well yeah. as champions of the IWL. Exactly. At the same time. So, 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 uh, uh, so that's, that's again a rarity in Indian football mm -hmm. that way. Uh, but but uh, she hinted, she said openly in fact, that uh, in Kerala, even in Kerala where the club is there, the club's base, uh, Kodi Kod and uh, around that area some girls have started to come. but. The structure is lacking for the yeah. women's game, it there for the girls' game. Key. It needs to be, and it it goes right across the country. And need, needless to say that, and also, I mean, why are we talking about grassroots when elite footballers are not getting matches yeah. to play? So Gokulam yeah. Kerala are champions, and they last played in January 2020. Right. So, so as yeah. a team, so there are a lot of things which we are we constantly talk about in 420 grams yeah and well, hopefully so. as more people start talking about it some of these things will get sorted yeah. or not sorted but at least start moving mm -hmm. because we've been talking about men's football men's for football. 20 yeah. years and nothing has changed <laughs> there so but anyway we'll leave all that off for another for our next conversation finally Leslie, you have an update from uh, women's boxing uh, where uh, Bhaskar Bhatt has been appointed the new head coach of the national team Interesting development because, uh, of course, there was a bit of a post-mortem happening after the Tokyo Olympics where we, I mean, and uh, I'm glad that we think like that, that we underachieved. We are not happy with one medal from the Olympic Games. Mm. Lovelina won the bronze. Otherwise, mm. uh, there were many boxers who were expected to win medals and they all underperformed. Various reasons. We had done our own post-mortem on how the loss, losses happened. Mm. Uh, but uh, uh, the Boxing Federation of India submitted a proposal to Sports Authority of India to get four foreign coaches. Mm. And of course, there was a bit of changes that's going to happen as far as the Indian coaches in the setup is concerned. Right. So, Baskar Pat is not new to the setup. He was uh, head coach of the youth women's boxing team. Mm. 
2000, from 2017 mm -hmm. and before that from 2005 to 2012 he was assistant coach assistant coach with the senior women's boxing right. team so, so basically he was there when uh, Mary Com won that bronze in yeah. 2012 so uh, and uh, as as quite a lot of experience in 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 in, in the camps mm -hmm. and more interesting than that basketball was the coach of the youth team which finished on top of the medal tally at the world youth championships right. earlier this year in april right. seven medalists in the women's team that wow. in that tournament yeah. and all those seven women would be graduating into the senior ranks mm -hmm. some are already there uh, others will be there soon right. so uh, something happy I'm, i'm very happy about that mm -hmm. the boxing federation is looking ha okay. ahead a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, another development al alongside it parallel to this is uh, that they also announced the elite women's nationals finished uh, 10 days back right and uh, they had announced even pre tournament that uh, the winners of the gold medalists of this of the elite nationals will be given direct selection for the world championships that is going to happen in december in turkey mm -hmm. and uh, basketball's first assignment right So uh, interesting in the sense that uh, Lovlina Bogohain and uh, uh, Mary Com had skipped the tournament, saying that they are going to focus on the World Championships. Mm. And Lovlina has been given a direct entry, despite a gold medalist coming from the nationals. Mm. And uh, Mary Mary Com, there is no clarity as to where it is. So. Uh, it's it's heartening to see that we are not going by for reputation yeah. or or how things have been done in the past because mericom would appeal and then they would open up the selection trial yeah. so lovlina's weight category the winner of the nationals is arundhati choudhury mm. who was gold medalist at the world youth championship interestingly okay. so she yeah. is a good boxer she is yeah. one for the future yeah. so she appealed to the boxing federation of india just a couple of days back mm. saying that i i need a trial uh, mm. it's only fair that i get yeah. it but and it was a open letter mm. and uh, uh, bfi i mean <laughs> as far as indian sport are concerned open letters are not exactly taken really well by the administrator anyways bfi's policy they have been they sticking to that they are saying that uh, for the olympic medalist we don't we won't give a trial mm. uh, i disagree with that logic because you are looking at a youth world champion and you are denying her a chance to have a competitive bout against a olympic mm. medalist mm. it it will only help indian sport right. but having said that Fair the enough. general no, having said that yeah. the general direction Anything. in which bfi is moving is yeah. is towards the future yeah. basketball's presence yeah. would, would i mean reiterate that and also the decision i mean i don't know whether it will change because mericom is pretty powerful in sure, the boxing sure. setup but yeah. but as far as uh, now is concerned the decision seems to be taking the uh young crop of boxers coming up into the into the into the higher level into the senior team all right and i think uh, we can all expect a piece from you soon with all of the implications the wider yeah. implications of this so that you can understand it better when it's down on mm -hmm. paper and also some of this will clear up in terms of the appeals process it's a clear appeals process right. and who is going who is not right and that does it for us today then leslie yaar we've gone over time as usual super fast bola to tha lekin hua nahi but koshish jari hai Uh, more more in the marathon scheme of things <laughs> fair enough you've been watching play things of alien forces on newsclick.in uh, you can catch us on youtube uh, facebook instagram and all the usual other social media and check out our website newsclick.in uh, thank you for watching goodbye